Hello everyone. This video is about error propagation and after this video you should be able to derive and use the formula of error propagation. So last time we have seen the process of measurement is not easy. Lots of errors comes due to different factors. So we don't get the accurate value while measurement. So when we measure something errors always comes with the measurement so suppose i am measuring a distance so i'll get some error in the distance and suppose i'm measuring time also and i'll get some error in time also so we know the formula speed is equal to distance by time so as i'm getting error in distance and time i should get error in speed also so but how to calculate the error in speed so and out here you can see the error from one physical quantity goes to another physical quantity and this process is called error propagation out here the error is going from distance and time to the speed so we have to calculate the error in this kind of problems error propagates when we add two physical quantity when we subtract subtract two physical quantity we get error when we multiply two physical quantity the error also get propagated in division also and when we take the power of a physical quantity there also error propagates from one physical quantity to another physical quantity so let's derive the error in addition of two physical quantity suppose i have a measured value of e that is a plus minus delta a Similarly, measured value of B is B plus minus delta B and this delta B is mean absolute error that we have done in previous video. So suppose I am adding A and B. So C is a new physical quantity which I get from adding A and B. So now error in C, C plus minus C can be written as I will put the value of A and B. So a plus minus b plus b plus minus b so i'll open the bracket out here and i'll keep a and b together and delta a and delta b together but we know a plus b is c so i'll put the value of a plus b that is c so this c and this c get cancelled and I'm left with this. So this plus minus and this plus minus I can cancel. So I'm left with delta C is equal to delta B plus delta A. So the maximum absolute error in the sum of two physical quantity is equal to sum of absolute error of individual quantity. So to get the error in C, I have to add the errors of A and B. Now let's do for subtraction. So I'm taking the same thing A and B with errors delta A delta B. So now third physical quantity that is C is A minus B difference of this two. So similarly error in C can be written as I can put the value of A and B. So now when you multiply this minus sign so you'll get minus b and when you multiply this minus and this plus you'll get minus and when you multiply this minus and this minus you'll get plus so this get interchanged so now i'll keep a and b together so that is a minus b and plus minus delta a minus plus delta b so but c is a minus b so i'll put c for this a minus b so now I'll cancel and I'm taking this plus minus common so when you take plus minus common so plus is going out minus you're left with plus out here also same thing happens so you are left with plus only so CC get cancelled and and now you can cancel plus minus plus minus as well and you'll get delta c is 
delta b plus delta a or you can write delta a plus delta b so when you subtract two physical quantity the error get added up so the maximum absolute error in difference of two physical quantity is equal to sum of absolute errors of individual quantities now whether you add two physical quantity or subtract two physical quantity the error will get added now let's solve one question out here measured value of a is 10 plus minus 0.2 meter and measured value of b is 5 plus minus 0.1 meter so we have to calculate a plus b and a minus b with error so a plus b is so 10 plus 5 and error also get added up so I have to add 0 0.2 and 0 0.1 and out here I have to subtract the values of A and B but errors I have to add because in subtraction also the error gets added up so out here is 15 plus minus 0 0.3 meter and out here is 5 plus minus 0 0.3 meter so this is how we solve the problem in error propagations in both addition and subtraction the error get added